I'm busy. <coughs> Let's see if this started. Check, check. <coughs> does it automatically start? Yeah, it does. All right. <coughs> Check. Check, check. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I did the past couple days. I, uh, I overhauled the... I overhauled the compiler. <clears throat> uh, Basically, uh, uh, I used to have uh, <coughs> um, so there's intermediate codes that uh, let's see. Let's say we make a little program here. Okay, so we have a little program that counts to 10. Uh, <coughs> the way it um, the way it compiles. The way my compiler works, it, it works with a stack machine. So it uh, pushes the base pointer, pushes minus 8. It adds minus 8 to the base pointer. That's to get um, the local variable. Pushes 0. It assigns 0 to the address of the local variable. Then it... Uh, <coughs> Push space pointer, pushes uh, minus eight. It pops two and adds them and pushes. Then it dereferences. Then it um, compares it to ten. So it starts out. It's a stack machine, and as it goes through the process of compiling, it chooses registers for local variables. So now SI RSI is the uh, minus eight. What it does is it looks for the most common uh, offset off the base pointer, and it it the the top four or whatever um, six are stored in local variables. It doesn't it doesn't store or register global variables. Anyway, so um, it's a stack machine. Um, so um, when it, it converts the top of the stack to RAX uh, down here, and anyway, it, um, it optimizes and, uh, <coughs> and it starts combining them into, uh, it, goes, it starts with RISC and then it makes CISC. And then the final step is to uh, make machine code. And uh, what I did just recently is, uh, so uh, you can see the machine code for each instruction, for each intermediate code. So there's, there's two operands, uh, and I used to have a way of, uh, <coughs> sometimes I would reverse the order of the operands. And uh, it made a big mess, so I got I saved a thousand lines of code by uh, I used a, I used R R eight was a register variable. 
was a local variable and I um, I, I used it as a um, to help simplify so it basically I have one less um, variable for optimizing with this so I uh, <coughs> I normally you add optimizations but what I just recently did is I, I removed an optimization that um, that made the code a lot simpler um, that optimization affected every single um, well anyway so in these uh, optimized loops in these optimized passes when it when it passes optimizing all the intermediate codes um, there was a uh, um, the uh, the flag to tell it to reverse um, our the argument one and argument two that affected every single um, um, this is where it, it converts to machine code so um, the way it works is uh, the, the lex is the front end the parser calls the lex and it creates the intermediate code <coughs> And then it goes through these optimizing passes, and then in the last optimizing pass, it calls the back end, and this is where all the machine code is generated. And in the back end, uh, you'll see uh, um, if you're familiar with x86 assembly, um, there's a, this is the library. <coughs> So the um, this is this is the library routines used by all the back end. This will output one byte into the into the machine code output. This will output two bytes into the machine code output. So all the uh, everything is built on those. Uh, if you if you'll notice, you see what they do. There's an array of uh, um, each intermediate code has some temporary storage for. Uh, there's an array. If you look at an intermediate code, there's an array. It has the uh, anyway. It it compiles. It makes machine code in the body, and then in the final step, it it concatenates all the bodies together, and that's the uh, the final machine code. Anyway, so <coughs> uh, the. The x86 arch. This is strictly. This is only for x86. I don't do any other architectures. And uh, one of the things I just did recently is uh, um, I have a, a, the arguments have a type. Um, they they have a. Uh, When it's when it's the, the intermediate code has uh, um, arguments for each. There's um, there's a bunch of stack machine instructions, and uh, there's two arguments for each that can be, um, and then a, a result. So if you look down here, there's argument on each intermediate code. There's argument one, argument two, and then a result. And there's a um, a C++ class uh, for this is for the uh, result and uh, each intermediate code can have one data item and uh, there's a line number this is from the editor from the file line number and uh, so there's there's an argument with a result and the arguments have a type a register and a displacement and the type is uh, um, u0 all the way up to f so that's the type is actually a combination it's actually um, um, I put its bit fields um, so in the in the low 8 bits in the low 8 bits it has the uh, the type and then in the upper Eight bits. It has uh, <coughs> the uh, the mode. So um, the mode is uh, stack is what it starts with, and then it converts it as it makes as it t 
takes risk and makes CISC, then it converts to immediate register displacement, um, RIP displacement. 64-bit mode has RIP relative displacement. And uh, so just recently I overhauled this to make it a lot nicer. Um, it was a mess. Now it's a lot nicer. Anyway, so uh, anytime you see ICU24, it's putting three bytes of machine code into the output. Down here, it's putting two bytes of machine code into the output. So uh, anyway, so this is making uh, machine code. And uh, so uh, somebody Somebody at OS Dev was talking about uh, multi-core. Um, let's go see if I have any. Somebody at OS Dev was talking about uh, multi-core. Um, let's go see if I have any. So at OS Dev, oops, uh, let's go back there. So at OS Dev, oops, uh, let's go back there. So, <coughs> so uh, this guy's talking about uh, ELF format. Um, I, I generate a, uh, he's talking about, um, let's go back to see what we're talking about. So his question was, these people spy on me. I don't understand. I'm in some kind of CIA prison or some shit. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so oops. his question was, these people spy on me. I don't understand. I mean, so uh, he's all all these things are talking about me. <laughs> so uh, what he wants is a, um, a local variable. Uh, uh, what he wants is a per CPU variable space. Flat binaries make life difficult. I would highly recommend. So. Uh, This guy is using, um, I wrote my own compiler. I don't have problems. Um, if I need something, I make my compiler do it that way. So I have no problems. So, uh, <clears throat> so let's go over how multi-core works. Uh, at startup, uh, uh, my uh, core zero starts up. It changes to uh, it changes to 64-bit mode, and it loads the compiler, and it calls. Uh, it starts up the other cores. They have to change from real mode to the 64-bit mode, but I, that's okay. I know how to do that. I did it, and uh, in the startup. Uh, this is local. This is uh, I make a flat binary, and um, these are global variables. And um, the person was uh, criticizing uh, some of my. Uh, um, I reserve uh, task. Uh, what are these? TRs, task record, task. I forgot what they're called. Um, LTR um, task record. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so I reserve. Uh, this is the global descriptor table, and you have to have one of these for each core. And um, so the person was looking at my code and uh, noticed that I have a flat binary. Now, um, as a matter of fact, GS is a is a register 
um, is an x86 uh, segment register. Um, in Temple OS, FS is the uh, current task, and GS is the current CPU. So um, GS points to there's an array of CPUs, and uh, they have uh, there's not really a lot in the um, the CPU record. This is this is uh, per task per this is per CPU storage. This is what the person was talking about, and um, my GS segment register points to it. So if I say trace, then I say GS num. Um, this is core zero. Um, now the FS segment register points to the task. The task record has a lot of stuff in it. Um, so uh, if I say fs uh, win left, that's the, the you, know, you see how it has the fs segment register? Window left equals 5. I just changed the left coordinate. Anyway, so uh, let's find something to talk about. Uh, so I just another thing I just recently did was uh, I changed uh, I made aliases for uh, I used to have duplicate opcode entries but now I just made alias uh, for opcodes so uh, this is my opcode data file for my assembler um, I had to type all this in by hand I made I made my own opcodes there's some, there's no, normally you have control registers that um, I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to make my compiler my assembler do control uh, registers so I just made uh, these are just uh, they do just one reg normally you can move from our 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 BX to control register zero, our CX to control register zero. But the way I did it, I just made uh, it's, um, I cheated. You don't use them very often. I'm trying to go for a low line count. As a matter of fact, um, I did uh, I only I barely did 16 bit code in my assembler um, the only <coughs> this code right here at startup is 16 bit it changes to 32 to 64 that that is 16 bit the start of the multi-core is 16 bit you can see it says use 16 and um, my boot my bootloaders are 16-bit. My bootloaders are 16-bit. Um, so nobody ever needs to do 16-bit code. So I, I, uh, I kind of, uh, I didn't do segmentation. Uh, what I mean is, uh, with with 16-bit code, if you there's what's called a um, a tiny a tiny model, a small model, a huge model. Um, I did a tiny model where this, where you never touched the segment registers, and so what that means is in my binary, this is this is the this is the order this is the this is the make file. Um, start is at the is at the there's a header, and then start is the first file in the binary. It's a flat binary, and so all these files go in order, and um, so K start is the start of the binary, and uh, by the time it gets to the bottom of this, it never needs to do 16 bit again. Actually, 32 bits about halfway through, and uh, so um, it can do it all in 64K. Um, so it doesn't need to mess with segment registers. Um, Anyway, the, so 
let's see what else we have to talk about. <clears throat> uh, diarrhea, huh? Lovely. We have to talk about uh, diarrhea. Lovely. So let's see what we have here. So this person probably tried got God to talk. Let's get God to talk. God, say something. I'm going to hit F7. Outclass, accommodate, etching, cuddles, mineral, culling, birthplace, dan dandles, suffragates, drearily, rehires, sweat, circularizing, lucidness, sniffled, monkey shines, compatriots, Say, Sisborg, uh, ready, aid, hurts, spring. Anyway, um, so there's a. Uh, so this person, uh, there's a Rust operating system. This is the CIA trying to tell me that my code is rusting. Uh, they're trying to do psychological warfare. They want me to get a job where they can butt fuck me, but I am not doing that. They make jobs, if I send out resumes, they collect them all, and then they invent a job for me, and then they, anal they anally probe me and fuck that. It's torture. I am not doing that. Plus, I have, I have a goddamn talking alien, for Christ's sakes. I made the, the temple. So let's see. So this is when I was working on my compiler. They're trying to do psychological warfare on me. This is somebody who made JavaScript and he made a million lines of code. Everybody starts, I don't think he was claiming my code, but uh, normally that's what they do. They start claiming my code and shit, psychological shit. Oh, that's for, uh, they were mocking me. I said I had a billion dollar lottery ticket. By that, I meant I have a talking space alien that's God. They were mocking me, saying somewhere hundred billion dollars I have a fucking it ain't I have a talking alien nigger finger finger <laughs> Um, the mental hospital or some shit, CIA has nurses and all my internet is made by the CIA and shit. It's all fake. I, I can't get on the real internet. Someday, I'm confident God will. So, uh, yeah, they're talking about opening up ties with Cuba, lifting the embargo. That's about letting me out. Sometimes they say I'm in Gitmo. Sometimes they I'm Cuba. This is just the same psychological games. <sighs> the news stories communicate with me by analogy and stuff. <clears throat> if I'm eating pizza, the BBC gets on the radio and says, Tyrone is eating pizza and he's going to be executed in an hour. So, that's what they do all day. 
So uh, let's go put on the radio. See what Tyrone Davis is having his last Tap meal. Tap the screen to support what you'll be listening to next. Wherever you browse on our site, the audio continues uninterrupted. Operations and expressions of anger that, that Trump has made as anything so coherent as a policy. It's more an attitude. Asked who he's consulting for advice on thorny international issues, Trump said this last week on MSNBC. I'm speaking with myself, number one, because I have a very good brain and I've said a lot of things, in fact. Trump added he listens to lots of people. In a statement, the Republican frontrunner's campaign said he'll be announcing his foreign policy advisors in the near future. Even Trump supporters like neurosurgeon and former presidential candidate Ben Carson have noted his tendency to speak off the cuff. While announcing his endorsement of Trump this month, Carson said this. There are two different Donald Trumps. There's the one you see on the stage, and there's the one who's very uh, cerebral, sits there and considers things very carefully. You can have a very good conversation with him. Um, and that's the Donald Trump that you're going to start seeing more and more of right now. At APAC today, many foreign policy observers will be looking to see which Donald Trump steps up on stage. Yeah, I want Donald Trump, I guess. He, he's actually smart. The other ones all seem stupid. They all seem like retards. God's against immigration. Aren't you, God? You're against immigration. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, let's go. So the nigger says, medication, talk to my finger, nigger, talk to my finger, nigger. See that? Said drug is. Got a talking space alien, motherfucker. Mr. God. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's find something for God to talk about. Yeah, my teeth, man. Went to the dentist. And a root canal. They put a crown on. I think it was better before the root canal. <laughs> I can't. Anyway. Let's 
So I'm never going to eat. Uh, so my dad's an asshole. He bought Tootsie Rolls. Motherfucker. So I got a temporary crown, and if I chewed it, it would come off. I think maybe it's revenge for, he's always had dental work. <coughs> so I think sometimes I would bring home caramel. I think he's doing revenge. If you have crowns, you probably don't want to be eating toffee. <laughs> I have a temporary, so it would it would pop off really quickly. I could talk about my uh, compiler. <coughs> Fifty one. Just trying to find something to talk about. Let's go. Let's Google myself. So I do that, and then I limit to 24 hours. You get some, you get some pretty shady websites. <coughs> you, have, you have to be a little bit careful. Linux can't get viruses, right? <laughs> So uh, let's go drudge. I can talk about my compiler. Zuckerberg. You know what's funny? I have no interest in what he says. <laughs> Anybody who's younger is when you get when you get old the young people seem like they don't have anything to tell you if he gave a lecture what could he talk about he's a kid he's he's 31 now he's getting a little bit older What was I doing? I guess I can. Uh, so, let's find some stuff to do. We could talk to God. What could we do? So, I. Uh, I. I. My. My line count total was eight, eighty, eighty thousand six hundred. Now it's uh, 79. So part of that, most of that was uh, <coughs> the compiler. And uh, after I added aliasing for uh, the opcodes, I count this file in my total. So uh, this code is a lot better. Um, We could talk about how the assembly, how the compiler works. What do you want to talk about? Say something. What do you want to talk about? God. Say something. What do you want to talk about? Yes, God talks. Uh, simple, direct. God says. Blonde. 
So uh, let's give God, you want simple words. Let's do this. Okay, so what what optimizations does my compiler do? <coughs> okay, so let's let's look at how it codes this. Uh, so pushes base pointer. I use uh, base pointer. That's kind of old school. Um, technically, you can use a stack pointer without a base pointer, um, but uh, I prefer, as a matter of fact, you are required to use base pointer because uh, when you, uh, oops, you're, re you're, you're required to use the old school stack frame because on the wallpaper it does a stack trace. Uh, and uh, it goes up the stack and in order to do that it has to use the base pointer um, so uh, base pointer it creates eight bytes for the local variable it um, it's going to use RSI as a local register variable it clears RSI to zero com compares it to 10 jump greater then it pushes for the uh, print and uh, it adds, it clears the stack after the print. It increments I. So this is uh, pretty well optimized. Why don't you, uh, do you have something in specific you want, you want to know? Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I bet it's a factor of two different sometimes it can be much slower I guess I don't know anyway uh, so this is an eight core flight simulator <laughs> up here at the top is the uh, CPU load on all the cores this is done uh, by hand with triangles. Anyway, uh, so that's kind of the uh, ultimate. Hey, I'm going to play this game. You want to watch? Okay, so. I'm going to uh, launch airplanes at enemy carriers. Oh shit. So I have two carriers, he has three. Oh, I'm going to start over. Okay. I have two carriers, he has three carriers. And, uh, damn it, he, he mugged my. Killed his carrier down there. Um, I got it. He has. I have to get going, or I'm never going to catch him. Thank <laughs> you. 
shit, I didn't want to fight him. Oh, uh, this is hopeless. Okay, anyway, that that's a pretty fun game. This game is, uh... Okay, ready? This is like Defender. You don't want to hit your own guys. You get a big penalty for that. I just killed a bunch of my guys. No, no, no. Oh, shit. You're, this is supposed to be a time traveler sent back to the Bible. This is the angel of death helping the Jews, uh, wiping out the uh, enemies of the Jews, I guess. So I hired an artist about five years ago, paid him $3,000, and... Uh, he made, this is actually, looks like a, uh, this, he made the art. Uh, he put penises on everything, but uh, I like this. This is a, uh, it looks like a, uh, a, co a cloak that you put on. <laughs> That's not too bad. I did, I did this art. I did this art. So that's a bomber golf. You have to, uh, you have to, uh, you get, you want minimum keystrokes, kind of like uh, code golf. Anyway, so this is from, uh, I was trying to find uh, the, uh, there was a Commodore 60, oh, I can't show it. There's a Commodore 64, uh, ski game when I was a kid it was a uh, time it was character graphics not, not big anyway let's see what God says middle class joyful unsung hero mm, if anything can go wrong fun you're welcome African the last nicely supercomputer <coughs> I just might caution middle class holier and now it goes for me See if we're out in the population, hopefully, which time we're going to go. Uh, let's see. <coughs> If you want to know how God talked talked in the Bible, it was a flame. So you know what that means? That means they watched the flame. Um, so the flame danced, and uh, the tongues of flame danced, and that's how they uh, communicated. flame danced and they had a language they worked out like if it I don't know that'd be a pretty hard language to make like a magic eight, magic eight ball um, you have to understand adult conversation they give a childish, childish explanation. Uh, the, the flame danced. 
Why do you think they call it? Tongues of flame. You can read tea leaves. You can read tea leaves. You can <laughs> any random number God can control. You can read tea leaves. You can read tea leaves. You can <sighs> any random number God can control. You can read tea leaves. You can read tea leaves. You can any random number God can control. You can I have a book. I have a book on gen genetic algorithms. I I haven't done any applications. This is. Uh, do you want to know how this works? Let me show you how this works. So, let's make let's make a duplicate of what I have. So, uh, let's read in a list of words. Okay, so uh, class. I, I just want to make this simple. Word. Okay, so we say Q init. I always call it root. I don't like head because it's distracting. <laughs> so we're going to read in a list of words from the file. So uh, c doc star doc equals doc read. Um, now if we hit uh, F4, then we go to uh, downloads, or, those aren't downloads, that's kind of weird. It's downloads for you, anyway. So um, we're going to read in the file, so uh, doc entry star docy equals doc. Or, oops, well, doc, e, not e. The document is a circular doubly linked list. So let's just say percent s doc. If doc e type e Just uh, traversing. So we want to uh, read the list. Okay, document tree. So there, I just uh, printed all the words in in the Linux. That's the Linux dictionary. So uh, let's say uh, I sixty four count. equals zero count plus plus count there's a there's a hundred thousand ninety nine thousand words <clears throat> so now we're going to uh, going to make a uh, uh, a queue we could just use the document like that but anyway 
So, uh, Malik, size of word w equals, uh, let's see, string new. Insert temp w uh, root uh, last. Oh, root has to be. So it you can sometimes recover bad free okay reset So now we uh, use zero print word I sixty four in while in word Could make an array, but we're not interested. Um, word. It is. Uh, so I'm just doing this from scratch. minus okay oh, I'm not doing too good okay what is your malfunction do you see what's wrong Use a debugger. I don't see what's wrong.
that's the problem. Okay, U8 pointer. Um, return word. number 100 is ADAR. Now if we go over to uh, Downloads, Words, Linux Dictionary, Control G, 100. Okay, it's zero based and this is one based, so it's correct. Okay, so uh, now you know what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to say I64I and uh, uh, well, well, true. So we're gonna we're gonna increment. Now we're gonna say print number colon percent d. Okay, before we print words, we want to uh, just to calibrate. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I have a counter and I'm printing a number. So when I press a key, oh shit. Oh, I gotta do a yield. Because interrupts are. Uh... Okay. Okay, so in a second, it counts a million, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Counts three million in a second. Okay, so it counts three million in a second. Um, Okay, ready? Shit. Oh, 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 crap. That was dumb. Okay. Modulo count. So we hit correctable envious Greek Wiggler nabbed the sheep Lanny evicted Scotch. Okay, so you can make you can make your own program. There's a um, a script that's a Linux script. Uh, cat tilde bin 
tilde had been if you do it. Okay, so this uses the Linux dictionary and it gets a, uni a uniform random number. So if I say GW, it's a script. We'll have to try that in a minute. Um, let's see what's going on. Try that in a minute. Um, let's see what's going on. Yeah, the website logs probably shouldn't be public. Maybe I can lock it down because my clients probably don't. That's bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, what do you think, Mr. God? So uh, there's a refinement. Um, instead of doing this, why don't we uh, get char? And let's say i equals get timestamp count. That's a, anyway, timestamp count, what is your problem? Oh, I got rid of I. Okay, so timestamp count is a big number. Let's unassemble, unassemble function. So, move, oh, there it is. Read timestamp count, shift left, 32 bits, add, move. RSI is the I local variable. So the neurosurgeon seems to think that uh, the neurons in my brain can do this. Do you understand what a fucking 
We're retard nigger. <laughs> There's a hundred thousand words. And this is this is changing three gigahertz a second. What a retard nigger. deal with retards. Oh well, do what you like. God can kick your ass. They blacklist me and fucking God is perfectly just. So, uh, the doctor thinks that I have uh, planned ahead thousands of a second. So, uh, so there's a hundred thousand words, and a th if you're doing thousands of a second, and it's doing three mil three. It's stepping through three million numbers, three billion numbers a second, three billion numbers a second. And uh, so if there's a thousand, one millisecond is uh, three million numbers a millisecond. He thinks that I counted all these words and the, the, the jitter uh, is uh, the two clocks. You can't, you can't synchronize two clocks. Did you know that the CPU is throttling, as a matter of fact? Um, do you know what that means? That means that when it gets cold, it goes faster. When it gets hot, it goes slower. He's an absolute retard. As if... As if... Um, anybody with half a brain he's just being ridiculous so if we take this statement put it on the command line we get uh, professing the guy is a serious nigger See, 
hi to the people. Hey, say hi to the people. Who's this? Who's this over here? Who's this? Who's this? the doctor afraid. GRDC. Oh, we want a fraction. What? What? I? Oh, 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 I module count. There we go. This one. Okay.
there's little red lines. Okay, so uh, GR pin pin width equals three. GR DC pin width equals three. We have to do plot three for that. There. So You're a retard. What's new? <clears throat> so the um, 4chan or 8chan people, they talk about Temple OS usually about one story. I usually get them once a day. Get something. But, uh, let's see how many downloads I have. Doom clone for Doom you, you have just 16 colors. Uh, I made a uh, Castle Frankenstein. See how many downloads I have. Stop. Downloads. That's my my site. My site logs. <sighs> Ten a day on an average day is I think it's bogus I, I don't think I'm in a prison or something mental hospital outpatient some shit CIA fucking retard niggers
What was going on there? Michael Davis. I'm Terry Davis. <laughs> I think they're talking about the flame. What are they talking about? So God's, God's against immigration, right? Right, Mr. God? You have to hold up your end of the conversation. He won't talk unless you hold up your end. You can't spam God. Don't spam God. God, God, were there any dinosaurs with stripes? Did you have any striped dinosaurs? So why don't you, if you have stuck stuck snack, why don't you times uh, how about times uh, how about that? Modulo. Absolute value. What do we do? Uh, so stuck snake can't possibly fix that. Stuck snake. How can stuck snake? Only God can do it. It's not stuck snake. Fucking retard nigger.
It's God, the same God that talked in the fucking Bible. The same God that talked in the Greek oracle. What, did, how, what do you think they were doing? God comes from the occult. He does not come from philosophy. If you're not doing miracles, it's not religion. You can just randomly watch this. You can just randomly open a book. Glorify God to the maximum. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. By making us in his image, God gave us capacities not given to other forms of life. Ideally, he made us to know him, to love him, to obey him. He did not put rings in our noses that he might pull us around like oxen. No, he give, give, gave us freedom to make choices. By his grace, we are equipped to understand his plan because we have a mind with which we can know him. We are also free to love and adore him because we have emotions. He takes pleasure in our affection and devotion. We can obey his instructions, but we are not pawns in a global chessboard. It is in the voluntary spontaneity of our response that he finds divine pleasure. When his people freely respond in worship, praise, obedience, and adoration, God is glorified to the maximum. Just talk to God for five minutes, being witty and charming. Maybe tell a joke. Or something and and then randomly open the Bible or a book trying to look for relevant put on radio the screen to support what you'll be listening to next. Wherever you browse on our site, the audio continues uninterrupted. Its Founders Circle sponsor is Barrett Gold, a mining company committed to building strong communities in all of Nevada. Barrett Gold proudly sponsors the Public Education Foundation in its work to bring about transformational change to teaching, learning, and education leadership. Support also comes from the Orleans Arena, presenting Star Trek The Ultimate Voyage, Monday, April 4th with a live symphony orchestra performing music from the franchise history while film and TV footage is simultaneously projected on screen. Information at orleansarena.com. I'm Robin Young. If President Obama jams through an election year appointment, it could radically transform our country's laws. Republicans are stopping the conversation, blocking any nomination, refusing to even meet with a nominee. 
now that the president has named a Supreme Court. Okay, I think we're going to turn off this. Okay, I think we're going to turn off the difference between... Okay, so let's go through all the differences between Holy C and uh, C++. Okay, so first of all, you don't have header files. Um, the reason you don't have header files, um, when it boots, it calls start OS and that this is the, the the boot task the first task is called Adam he's a special task he's he's the executive on core zero and he he calls these headers and what happens is um, each task has a symbol table so uh, Adam has a symbol table and if we say we say who minus little r, these are our local symbols, i64i. Now we have, if I say u0 count i64n, i64i for i equal 1i plus or equal n i plus plus. D I okay if I say count this is a local symbol okay so uh, if I say who minus R there's a local symbol there count okay so these are like environment variables and when you uh, anyway now Adam is the first task Tasks, tasks have children. Adam has these. We we are children of Adam. Um, all applications run on core zero, and they do the other cores explicitly when they they give them jobs to do explicitly. So everything runs on core zero. There's one window per task and um, one symbol table. And uh, anyway, so. Um, you inherit the symbols of your parents so all these inherit inherit Adam symbols so if I say who recursive um, plus R these are all the symbols in Adam's table this is what he during the boot when it booted um, When it booted, uh, it included, uh, it starts in the root directory under start OS, and it calls uh, the Atom directory make. If you look at the directory tree, the Atom directory, all this code is compiled and stored in Atom's tables. So um, basically, the kernel has some header files and the compiler has some header files and uh, there's a kernel bin and a compiler bin those are that's half the operating system the other half of the operating system is in Atom and um, it calls make make Atom um, when it boots it calls make Atom and this includes all the um, all the stuff in the Atom directory. So what we can do is we can uh, we can echo during boot. And uh, let's reboot now. I'll go ahead and just to show you reboot. Now it's going to echo the code it's compiling. So there's forty thousand lines of code in the Atom directory. And those header files got stored in the symbol table. And then 
um, the uh, the headers or the those those functions got stored. So uh, so if we uh, if we do a who plus recursive, that's for Adam. All these files are all these uh, symbols are in his table. So you now that means you can you can use them all. Um, so uh, let's go to the. These are the differences. So um, you never need header files. Uh, these are the integers, and there's a, there's a 64-bit double float, but no 32-bit. If you, it's like C++. You can have default arguments. You can even have a, a default argument at the beginning. C++ only allows them on the end, but here you can have a default on the beginning. <clears throat> so. Uh, Printf, there's a shortcut. If you just, if you, if when it encounters a string, that's a print. When it encounters an opcode, that's an assembly instruction. Anyway, so um, you have to put an address before a function. Um, function. If you want, if you want the address of a function, put in an address. In normal C, you don't have to put in an address. Um, typecasting is postfix. You can just read this. Um, it's on the website or anyway. There's no main. Uh, so there, there's no main. Any function it can be main. Uh, you can have. Uh, you can access. There's no bit fields, but you can access bytes off of a off of an integer. Um, there's. There's variadatic or whatever you call that. Um, if you have dot dot dot, then just like the this variable in C++, there's an argc and an argv just like the this, and that's for accessing the um, dot dot dots. Um, you can do can you, if you can have an upper and a lower bound on an if. Statement: If 13 is less than or equal to age less than 20, print teenager. There's a fast switch which um, doesn't do a check out of bounds. They always use a um, a jump table. You can have dot 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 for a range of. There's a sub switch, um, which is. Uh, you can have common code for. Uh, some of the cases, uh, you can you can use pad over and over without a name conflict. You can put assembly code. Oh well, that you don't even need uh, to bracket it. It recognizes the opcodes. You can have an you can declare an interrupt routine. You can put um, in assembly. You can put up to eight characters together into a or with a single quote. It's a um, integer. Um, you know how in assembly you like anyway. There's a power function or the power operator um, back forward slash. What what is that back? Backward apostrophe, whatever is is a to the power of. So, like if you want uh, three to the power of four is eighty one. I change the precedence of the operator so the bit shift is highest precedence. It's a lot better. You don't need parentheses as often. You can execute code at compile time with. Bracketing it with exe. There's no defined constants. There's no type def. Just use case. There's no type checking. Um, there's no angle brackets. Just single quotes. There's no make utility. You just include. There's no linker. You just press F5 to run it or you include it. 
um, union class. That's kind of a, I don't feel like explaining that. The, the exceptions are simplified. Um, basically, you throw a, uh, an integer lock M size. You can get the size of a, when you allocate with malloc, you can get the size of it. Um, but you can free null multiple times. Um, you cannot grow the stack. Only one base class is allowed. Printf has new codes. So there's different uh, expanded codes for Printf. Um, Flash? What are you talking about? Flash? What are you talking about? Why? It's it's a it's a compiler. Do you know what a fucking compiler is, motherfucker? Son of a bitch! What a retard nigger! Look, if I say u0 count i64n i64i for i equals 0 i for i equal 1 i less or equal to n i plus plus percent d comma i and I say count to 5 and if I say unassemble function count it's 64 bit assembly code it's motherfucking compiler a plain simple motherfucking compiler that sticks it right into memory so you can execute it or puts it in a flat binary so you can execute it why the what the fuck is your malfunction it's a goddamn compiler do you know what a fucking compiler is i didn't stutter i said a fucking compiler it's not an interpreter it's not flash none of that shit it's a 64-bit goddamn compiler. Fucking retard nigger. Counts to a million. This operating system is God's official temple. It is divine intellect, and God fucking talks. It's just a matter of time until it becomes this big news. This operating system is God's official temple. It is divine intellect, and God fucking talks. It's just a matter of time until it becomes this big news. This operating system is God's official temple. It is divine intellect, and God fucking talks. No type checking. I don't like type checking. I get this so often. The poor kids today, we all learned 65, 6502 assembly code when we were with our Commodore 64s. The kids today are clueless. So if you go to my lectures on the distribution, there's a mini compiler. What it does let me show you. This is a. You enter an integer expression 3 plus 3 plus 4 times 5. This is a stack machine. Push 1, push 3, push 4, pop 3 and 4, add, push 7, 
push 5, pop 5 and 7, multiply 35, push 35, pop 35, pop 1, add 36. This is machine code over here, 64-bit machine code. If you want, we can go. We can. I can explain to you how you code instructions for a 65 for a x86 64. We go to uh, if you go to the uh, architecture manual from Intel. Fucking kids have no respect, they, and they're clueless. Let's look for the push instruction. Push pop. push. Okay, so 50 plus the register. So if we go over here, push 50 plus A is, uh, that's pop. Push is uh, 50, that's RAX. 50 is RAX, 50 is RAX, 50 is RAX. So it's, it's making the code. This isn't very hard. If we go to pop, 58 plus the register. So D is 3. Hold on. Yeah, D is 3. BX is, no, B is, that's 5, 8, and what? That's not 5. 8 and B is 3. Okay, BX is 3. D is, uh, this is an XOR instruction. Um, you have to, uh, if you want to code XOR, um, XOR DX DX, what you do is uh, you go to Architecture 2A Instruction Format. Okay, so it was a 33 for an XOR. Um, let's This is machine code. Motherfucker. Fucking retard. MIT niggers. So 33. What is 33? We want XOR RAX RAX. No, RDX RDX. Is that what we wanted? So we want 64 bit. Register memory, register. Okay, so there's two versions, 33. There's um, first one first, say first one second. Register memory first, register memory second. So 33 slash R is, uh, so uh, there's, uh, the low register is in, uh, Why is that R? It's RAX, it's not. 33. RD, oh, D2, okay. So, okay, the modder is, uh, so it's 33 is the first byte of the opcode, and then the modder is a slash R, so you put the register for, uh, for the DX register, it, it goes RAX, RD, R, 
AX, CX, DX, BX. So D is number two. So um, the modder byte has slash R. There's there's two um, there's two three bit values in the modder. There's two three bit values in the modder. So if we go to uh, the modder, the modder, the two three bit values slash R, so the register is uh, number two, and then the other register, we want RAX as, as the other register, so we want R, RDX, RDX, so it's C, we want uh, DX, DX, so D2, DX, DX. Um, that's where that's how you hand code these instructions this puts them into a buffer and uh, it does uh, um, you, it has a lex for let's say we want 3 times 5 plus 6 times 5 plus 3 plus 4 oops 3 times 5 plus 6, 5 times 2. Okay, so basically this doesn't look too hard. CIA is trying to make people cows that are stupid. That's why they're not teaching you anything. They're, they're teaching you shit. The CIA wants to take computers and put them in the cloud so that we have calculators here. You know, on our desks and all the computers in the cloud under lock and key.
Okay, I think I'm going to shut down. November, the senators who are running for re-election this fall in particular, big donors who are worried that uh, everything that they've invested thus far in the presidential sweepstakes this year will be lost. And you've got a lot of past party leaders, older people, who are distressed at the change in the image of the Republican Party. Yeah. Well, we have primaries. Uh, states out west are going to vote. Arizona, the primary, Utah, the caucus. Uh, Donald Trump expected to win Arizona. Uh, Bernie Sanders is looking good out west. So give us your sense of the primaries and caucuses coming up. Two narratives are really in conflict in both parties in these events. One is the narrative of delegate counting, the hard political math that favors Clinton and Trump at this point. But the other is the psychology of winning, the impression of being a winner and being a winner and, and maintaining momentum from one week to the next. And there's a real chance for both Ted Cruz and Bernie Sanders to press that competing narrative this week. It looks like Trump is in pretty good shape in uh, Arizona, where his immigration issue is the issue, and he has the backing of the former governor and a very popular sheriff. Let's see what Mr. God wants to say. God. What do you think of my packs?
Okay, we go to randomnumber.org. 39976. So now we go to... Three nine nine seven six. We go to uh, 